Hey, hi, hello my friends. It's Christy with Forium Junk Journals. Today is again not Wednesday. I don't know why I keep expecting to be able to record these on Wednesday, but um, yeah, it's Friday. Um, hopefully next week it'll be Wednesday like it's supposed to be and going forward it'll be Wednesday like it's supposed to be. I'm sorry. It's summer classes kicking my butt. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> So, we have a lot to talk about. So, once again, and as always, you, my friends, are invited to solve a murder. This is the hashtag on the case 2023 challenge in which we are trying to discover who killed Sherman Black. Um, this case is supposed to be brought to you every Wednesday, um, every week on Wednesday. All right, this is week three of the case of who killed Sherman Black. Um, and in week three, we are trying to figure out where are the felicities questioning of the suspects is still underway i will be having those transcripts for you as quickly as i can um but like i said it's been it's been kind of rough the last few days but the questioning is still underway Our interview, we had a live interview with Monty on Discord the other day, um, and that interview revealed so many interesting facts, right? We don't know if they're facts or not, but this is what Monty's telling us, and so there's a lot to kind of unpack there. Um, if you guys remember, well, first let me back up and say, I posted a full transcript, I thought, a full transcript of his interview because we didn't get to all of the questions in the Discord. Um, and then when I was looking at it to put together this video, I realized there was a lot of stuff missing off there. I don't know how that happened, um, but I will post the rest of those questions later today because we may talk about some of them in here. You guys haven't actually seen yet because I somehow left them out. Um, okay, so... If you guys remember, um, Lily, who was one of the servers, I think, um, at the bar told or at the lounge told us that um, Sherman had killed someone named Felicity, had murdered someone named Felicity, and she was sure of it. Um, and we kind of did some poking around and the only Felicity we could find was a Felicity Harris who used to work as a um, cocktail waitress at the bar and um, for a short time and she was very frequently photographed with Monty um, but we don't know kind of what happened after that or you know where she went or anything else so um, According to Monty, Monty and Felicity were in love. Um, they were in love. They were together for quite a while until Sherman outed Felicity for cheating on Monty. So he apparently discovered or thought that she was cheating on Monty. He outed her. And I guess that led to, the assumption is that led to Monty and Felicity breaking up. Um... But according to Monty, Felicity is still very much alive and living in Germany. Interesting. So I'm wondering if that's the case, why was Lily so sure that Sherman murdered Felicity? And would Monty lie about that to cover up for his brother? Because, you know, he raised him. So that's his, that's for his flesh and blood and for all intents and purposes, you know, kind of his child because he raised him. Um, also, interestingly, Kimberly and Sherman's baby's name is also Felicity, um, but we don't know where Felicity is. Uh, we haven't, um, you know, of course, we haven't talked to Kimberly yet, um, but we haven't seen any signs of this baby. So, um, but apparently the baby's name is also Felicity, and, um, Kimberly and Felicity were actually friends. Um, also, we found out from Monty that Sherman was quite proud of his baby. 
did see her actually and supposedly did pay child support. Um, we asked about Jeffrey, where he, why he was living in Florida, you know, kind of what was his situation out there. And we're told by Monty that Jeffrey is a Christian minister. His church is there. Uh, his family is there. He's married to someone named Samantha, and they have a four-year-old son named Paul. Um, we also kind of asked about the safe, like what was supposed to be in the safe besides this large amount of cash, and why was there a large amount of cash in the safe, given that Jeffrey had made a deposit at the bank the day before. Um, and according to Monty, there was a lot of personal information missing from the safe, along with Sherman's personal emergency cash. So apparently Sherman wasn't comfortable with keeping his belongings at his apartment, so he kept them at the, um, at the bar in the safe in his office. And it's interesting to question why he was not comfortable keeping his belongings in his apartment. Um, DNA results are in and have confirmed that the hand in the safe is Sherman's missing hand. <coughs> Sherman's apartment has been searched. His laptop and his cell phone were both found at the apartment. Both have been retrieved to be analyzed. Meaning probably that Sherman was not willingly, did not willingly leave the apartment. Um, because he left all of his um, things that he normally carries with him at the apartment. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Pictures of Kimberly and the baby are found on his bedside table, indicating that there's probably some truth in the idea that um, he did see the baby and was proud of the baby. There is a single partially filled whiskey glass on the coffee table beside a crumpled note. Interestingly, the note reads, Sherman, I thought you should know that I'm pregnant. Don't even think about it. I'm keeping it. Cindy. All right, guys, we're leaving it there today. Our detectives currently on the case are Brianna Jenkins, Jennifer Rowe, Tara from Sassy Turtle Plans, Rochelle from the Passionate Sticker Hall, Karen Mill, Kathy from Dreamcraft Journals, and Karen Betts. Who else is playing along this time? Drop me a comment below. Let me know to put you on the list. All right, guys, it's time. It's time to ask your questions. It's time to fill your case book. Make some art. Have some fun. And become the greatest junk journal detective in the world. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.